Chris Woods, I've got to say, mate, I'm doing a double take. I'm used to seeing in yellow. Uh, 12 years with the Suzuki team, first six with Jay Foreman with the Suzuki team, and then uh, another six as, uh, as team manager for the Raceline Pirelli team. But here you are uh, managing the big red truck. Tell us about how it all came together. Uh, mate, yeah, I'll let you know. I've been with Suzuki for quite a while. Um, basically got approached by your Eve sort of midway through last year. Just they wanted to really have a red-hot go this year and just get a bit of structure and uh, just try and... You know, what's already a good product is made very well known. So, yeah, that's pretty much how it come about. So, a little bit of thinking about it. It's been a big deal, packing up the whole the whole fam and everyone and moving them all down there. But, uh, fingers crossed, it's all for the, for, the, for the greater good. Look, it doesn't happen that often, mate. You know, someone with a, from taking basically a private deer light team and, and coming to, you know, uh, coming to manage what's arguably the biggest rig in the, in the sort of pits. It is, yeah. You know, no, it doesn't very happen a whole lot. And I do, I'm very, uh, very humble, I guess, about the whole thing. But, uh, Mate, yeah, we'll just uh, we'll keep on giving it a go. We're not we're not quite there yet, as you said today. We'd say it was it was good. It was our first hit out uh, together. So, but we all know where we stand now, and we're just going to have to go home and put our heads down and, and come out swinging for round two. And tell me, you, you know, you planned you came in. The original plan was for a couple of four fifties. Suddenly, Josh Case is back from America, and he's on the books. And then you got Ben Townley retiring only what a few weeks before the series starts. So, uh, hasn't been all smooth sailing for you, mate. No, nah, the last few months has been pretty rough. Uh, it's it's this one to that one to that one but uh, look our little bike program I was pretty happy with We've, and as you can see today it worked out well the 450 has been a little bit intermittent due to the fact that uh, Ford's been hurt and, uh, and and obviously BT's been hurt and straight back hurt again then retired so it was, uh, it was a stroke of midnight thing with Dan McCoy um, I'm planning on staying down here for the next week now and we're going to do uh, a race in Sydney next week which is the East Coast Series I think uh, and we're just going to I'll give him a bit of love, get a bit of time with him, and uh, the boys are going to do the same thing with Ford down in uh, down in Wanthaggy next weekend. So we'll uh, each state, and we're going to work, do our best with them. So see how we go. Tell us a bit about the. You know, a lot of guys say that getting a lights bike up to speed for a nationals, you have to put a lot more work into it than you would a 450. I mean, integrating that into an existing program can't be that easy. No, it's not. It's not. I dragged. I've got a lot of help with Pip Harrison. Don't you worry about that. Um, and uh, a good friend of mine, Phil Durrell, in uh, in Queensland, uh, but. I've tried to just graft the Raceline Suzuki way of thinking onto this and uh, we've dragged everything back in-house now so we can keep a tab on it. There's no more buying this or this or that. It's just in-house, heads down, ass up and just get it done. So it's uh, and approved today. It was pretty good. It is very hard. <laughs> Don't you worry about that. But uh, I think we've got a pretty solid bite thus far for the time we had. So we'll definitely keep working on it and, um, and see how we go. We look good in red, mate, and I've got to say... Uh well, I'm quite used to actually rocking around and having a Carlton dry at the end of the day, so um, maybe we should pop off and uh, help ourselves. I think we should, mate. Uh, Chorsi out.